All right, welcome back to another episode of Guitar Fundamentals. As you can see, I'm in my RV traveling across the country, and uh, Stitch Method is not going to stop. Now, today's Guitar Fundamentals video is going to be quite simple, but something I see all the time. And I want to address this with, uh, to you, with you or to you, um, the pinky. All right, and how important the pinky is and how to practice with the pinky and how to make it better. Um, before we begin, make sure you share and subscribe. But besides that, I want to tell you a quick story of when I was uh, 13 years old, and I remember watching The Song Remains the Same uh, for the first time, the Led Zeppelin uh, movie. And I remember watching Jimmy Page's pinky move so fast. That, that pinky was moving so fast, I couldn't even fathom any other fingers of mine moving that fast. And when you watch him, he's like blazing, his pinky's moving around. And I never understood at that age like how we could do that. Now, is my pinky as fast as Jimmy Page's? Probably not. But I'm going to show you how to create some pinky independence. And a lot of people, and take no offense, they, they don't practice it properly, they don't play with it properly, and, excuse me, play with it properly, and it really hinders their playing. So let's just talk about the purpose of the pinky, okay? <laughs> so the idea is um, the pinky is a stretcher. It is a grabber. It is not a note player by itselfer. Okay, it is there as an extra helping finger. If you picture, uh, I'm five ten, right? And um, I'm sure all of you have had this experience, not being five ten, but you go to reach for something like on a top shelf, and you can like barely get it, and so you kind of like start like expanding all your joints and your tippy toes. You just kind of get it, and you can wiggle and grab it, and you're like, how do I do that? And you kind of stretch yourself out. That's the idea of the pinky. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, you should never, ever ever, ever play with your pinky by itself like this. You should never, like, go If your pinky is the only finger on the fretboard, you are not doing your pinky any justice. Your pinky is a stretcher, and what I mean by that is if you're playing the 7th fret with your uh, index finger, and let's say you get up with your ring finger on the 10th fret, then your pinky should is the one to stretch the 12th fret. If you need to do, like, a pull-off, or all right, this is the job of the pinky. Notice a couple things. Number one, it's stretched out. Number two, my first finger is down creating the stretch. Number three, you can see how massive the stretch is between the pinky and the index finger. The pinky has to learn how to stretch out. That's where it gets its strength from and its dexterity. If you do this as a player, you're never going to develop the muscles and the dexterity needed to get your pinky to play properly. A lot of P's in this, okay? So the idea is, how do you practice this? How do you get your pinky on board? Well, there's so many ways to do it. The first way to do it, of course, is with a blues shuffle, all right? And so if you want to do this like on the seventh fret, seventh fret power chords, seven and nine, you want to play with this pinky getting up, sorry, seventh fret E, ninth fret A, and you want to get this pinky up to the 11th fret of the uh, D string, uh, A string, excuse me, and you want to you know, keep your first finger down. you got to practice stretching that pinky. And when the pinky's down, these fingers need to be down. You don't want to be doing this crap. No offense. Ooh. You can't do that. That's not going to do anything. Once you let go of the pressure, the pinky is deflated. you got to make sure you're stretching. Now, to take this practice exercise to the next level, you want to play the chorus to Sweet Home Alabama, which is going to be a 10th fret power chord blue shuffle down to the 8th fret, and then a good stretch, look at these fingers stretch the 3 and 5, and get that pinky up to the 7th fret. It gets harder, it's like a tractor pull, right? I don't know if you remember those, but as the tractor goes, the weights go up and it gets harder to pull it, so as you get towards that 3rd fret, it gets hard for the, to stretch out and get that pinky going, but to play... is one great way to practice stretching your pinky. Another great way to practice that I told you about already, but you want to talk about it, let's do it in the fifth fret. It's really hard. Is getting the um, A minor pentatonic. I'll probably, I'll probably move this to B in a second so it's easier. First finger's down on the five and five. Ring finger. Up on the eighth fret and the pinky to ten. I'm oh, sorry. Right? And this this helps, uh, this is hard, stretch and also get the pinky into the proper position. If I did it, let's say, let's say 10th fret, right? 
These are moves you hear all the time. Alright, the pinky needs to stretch and it needs to be there when the first finger is attached. Never ever are you going to play a note with just your pinky off with, with everything else off. It, that's not the job, okay? If, you, if you're playing like this, no good. Stretch. With your first finger down. The last bit of advice I can give to you for your pinky is to practice a very simple exercise where you're gonna go one, two, three, and stretch uh, and skip over a fret, so it's five, six, seven, and then to nine with a pinky. Keep all those fingers down. The pinky is the grabber. And then once you get that, move down one fret. Sorry, really? Alright, you gotta practice this. You wanna start up here? Sorry, really? Why do I even keep these in? S skip that fret with the pinky, and once you get the down, try moving. And if you can get down to the first fret, God bless you. I can't do it. Let's see. There it is. That's hard. That's extreme. But the idea is these are three quick exercises to make your pinky do the job it needs to do, which is stay down. All right, stretch out, fingers connected, and stretch when the other finger can't do it. It's a stretcher, right? It's it's not a note player by itself. Okay, I know everybody's gonna be like, but what about Angus Young? That's one riff. That's one riff. Okay, it's one riff. That's it. Out of the millions of other times, the pinky where the pinky has to stretch out. Okay and the first finger has to stay down. Hopefully I proved my point. Very quick video for guitar fundamentals, but I see this all the time. Keep your first finger down, stretch your pinky out, play the blue shuffle, play some pentatonics with the, and play some finger exercises. Get that pinky and all the other fingers to be down. This pinky is the stretcher. It's, it has to find a note when the other notes are locked down. Hopefully I proved my point. Thank you for being here. Rock and roll. Take care. Bye-bye.